We have five artists and 30 gingerbread house kits. Whichever one of you builds the best gingerbread house gets a lifetime supply of hot chocolate. Obviously, you can't drink hot chocolate alone, so whoever wins will also choose a subscriber to share the prize with. You have up to six hours to build your gingerbread house. Ready, go! Yay! And in front of them, they have a lot of candies, frosting, and other stuff that they can put on the gingerbread house, so they have everything they need. My man! Can everyone take out one gingerbread man? First person to finish their gingerbread man gets another gingerbread house kit. Oh, heck yeah! Oh. All right, three, what? two, one, go! What? Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna try it though. And I think that's what I'm Whoever moved by Michelle, Michelle is the only one going for water. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, Michelle! Yeah. That was the fastest I've ever seen anyone eat a gingerbread man, so here you go, Michelle. Yay! So Viv, tell me about what you're working on. So I'm working on a mansion. Izzy, okay. what are you working on? Okay, so I'm building a castle. I'm just winging it at this point. I didn't really look at a reference or anything. Michelle, tell me about what you're working on. Wait, where's your gingerbread house? I've, I've been... All right, Mackenzie, <laughs> tell me about what you're working on. Whoa! Uh, yeah. That's a cool reference. Yeah. Are you trying to build that? Yes. I don't have a lot happening right now because I've been cutting all my pieces. So yours is going to be very tall at the end. So I got my first layer down and I think I'm doing pretty well. Now I got to put a second layer and time to decorate. So we got a very strong base for our castle. Oh. Uh, 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 fine. <laughs> fine. Uh, oh. Um, Are you using those? One of those? <gasps> oh, Jake! Oh, I'm Is there anything okay, better? <laughs> Jake, can you stay up with that, please? Wow, what just happened? <laughs> oh my gosh, don't care fall on your boots. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, what is that? I, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is kind of cool. Mm, Izzy, it was different last time I checked. We're working on it. We're <laughs> changing the design. Nice so far. I, I like the gumdrops. I'll probably eat this one. Michelle. Hello. Ooh, what's in there? It's a little garden. Does the store work? Um, it will not. Ooh, Mackenzie, this is looking pretty good. Thank you. There's not a lot of detail on there so far, but not the yet. structure looks really good. All right, everyone. Keep building. There is a challenge coming up, so brace for impact. You are all almost done with your gingerbread houses, but before we can move on, we have to do a nerf test. No! So, so I'm gonna go from back here. Which one are you starting with, Zach? Starting with yours, Viv. No! Three. Two, one. Ah, oh! Wow. Oh! Wow. All right, Viv. That held up very well. Time for Izzy's. Oh! Ooh, these are strong. <laughs> All right, Jake. What's happening? Wow! Okay, these gingerbread houses are stronger than I thought. All right. <laughs> Last one. Oh. Artists, time is almost up, but I'm gonna give each of you guys a chance to get a bit of a head start. Each one of you will have one opportunity to throw a Christmas ornament as hard as you can at any of the gingerbread houses. Oh, no. oh. All right, so, Viv, which one are you gonna try to throw it at? Michelle. What? <laughs> Why did I even throw it? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you missed, Viv. Oh. 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 That was a solid hit. I saw sprinkles fly over. <laughs> Which one are you choosing? I think either 
Mackenzie Avery is gonna win. So I'm gonna have to go with Mackenzie. <laughs> oh, all right, Michelle. Two, one, go. <laughs> and there's one more. I'm going to throw one, but while I go find the ball, you all decide as a team who I should throw it at. Wait. Go. Who did we decide on? Michelle. Um, okay. Since you guys chose Michelle, Michelle is actually safe. What? 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 So, I am thinking of either number one or number two. One. Two. One. So I chose two, which means two, you're safe. Mm. Everyone, <laughs> count down. Two. Kenzie, if you let me throw a dodgeball at this, I'll give you a hundred dollars if it doesn't break. Okay, go ahead. Really? Yeah. You may win a hundred dollars, or you may have just lost the entire competition. Three, two, one! Oh! 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 Wait a second, wait a second though. It still looks pretty good. But you didn't win the hundred dollars. No, but... Hey, Michelle. Yes? If you let me... Throw the dodgeball at this and it doesn't break, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Okay, you, yeah, surely, yeah. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you should hit like right here. Three, two, one! Ah! Jake, don't even bother. So everyone, time is up. Viv, why don't you tell me about your gingerbread house? I made a gingerbread mansion. Very nicely decorated. Thank you. So what happened, Izzy? Yeah, obviously it didn't hold up, and it was really nice. It did have some really nice decorations. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of that's gone now. <laughs> All right, Jake, <laughs> tell me about yours. I did some gumdrop pattering on the roof, and then I did some drippy white and blue icing along the side and front of the house, and candy canes at the front. Very creative. Just an extra touch. Whoa, you recovered fast! <laughs> so instead of having a backyard, I decided to make a hot tub. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't look half bad. Thank you. Mackenzie, I felt awful <laughs> when the top part came flying off, but... Wait, hold up, Michelle, are you eating your gingerbread house already? Uh, yummy. <laughs> Alright, Mackenzie, carry on. It's styled after a San Francisco home, so it's very, like, tall and narrow. Intriguing architectural detail, which I don't see on anyone else's. This one is incredible. Only one person will win. When I eliminate you, you need to take a huge bite out of your gingerbread house. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> it looks like Izzy's already about to take a bite. <laughs> I know it's gonna be me. Okay, yes. I think the next person is trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really pretty. Uh, it's pink. Uh, it's gorgeous. Really? No. Ooh. <laughs> okay, the next person to get eliminated is Viv. Oh. I'm so sorry, babe. Oh. Take a bite out of your gingerbread house. No. Oh. Huh. All right, Jake and Mackenzie. Whenever I can't make a decision, oh my I put it up as a poll. No. So I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna destroy one and the one standing is gonna be the winner. <laughs> the winner won 64% to 36%. Oh my goodness. The winner. Oh my goodness. Oh. I thought we were doing bread art today. We have four artists and my videographer. I don't belong here. You will have three hours to make art. Best one wins up to five grand to split with a subscriber. The artist will be using a needle and thread to attach beads onto a stretched out piece of fabric. I wanted to start the video off with a twist and it seemed like Michelle already knew what was going on once she saw the white bucket. Pop it! Dun dun dun. At the very beginning, I told everyone to write down topics they think would look cool as bead art. So, fish, colorful bird. Sea anemone with clownfish. And the last one's yours. Chicken dino! 
Oh yeah, that's my topic. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> well, you guys are gonna have to get creative with your topics. Your time has. Does someone want to touch that? Touch. Whoa! Oh, how did you, how'd you that? do that? All right, you have three hours. Well, I got my own topic, but I still don't know how to make bead art, so. So this challenge isn't starting off the best. I got the topic of colorful bird. What is this for? Dude, this is like Korean. Can I do a velociraptor? Because technically, they used to have feathers. If you make it slightly chicken looking, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna do a phoenix. Yeah, a phoenix would be cool. The challenge has only just begun, but there's already bee forming between some of the contestants. Shut a chicken up, dinosaur is don't basically a pterodactyl. I feel like someone's trying to say something, but aren't Holy crap, there's so much drama. Not with me and Jake, though. It seems like David and Ken's are not getting along right now. But why do I care? Holy crap, there's so much drama. Dad, tell them to put my Oh. Not doing it. Wait, what What did you do? I put their seat on the floor because they keep disrespecting me. I know they're disrespecting you. Prove you them wrong with me art. by giving me chicken dinosaur! That's not my fault that you didn't pick well. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of just playing Candy Crush right now. Just gently put the chair back up. It's put okay. Put the chair back up. Whoa, guys. All right, I'll put the chair back up. Chair is technically up. Now's the time where Mackenzie gets even. It's gonna be loud. Oh That's my god, loud. there's drama. That's down. This, how about this? Mutual lift up together. <laughs> hey guys, besides dying of allergies, I'm doing pretty good on my project, actually. Oh! This is giving me anxiety. Wait, does it have to be super tight? How do I make it tighter? Okay. It's a little tambourine. Bing, 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 bing. Well, personally, I hope that David does terrible. What's up? Now that the artists are around 30 minutes in, it's time for the first mini challenge. All right, everyone, we got a mini challenge. Oh, no. You gotta stand behind this pencil. This challenge is very easy. Each one of you guys gets 10 beads. You're trying to get as many in your bucket as possible. If you get it in someone else's, we're just gonna take it out. Three beads, Michelle. Woohoo! Jake, you got two. I feel like that looked good. I think that was bad. <laughs> Zero. No. No! <laughs> that was terrible! One, Ben. Let's go. Uh, that was none. Okay, Michelle! Woo! In here is four of your competitors' names. You get to pull one to help you. Ben! What? You can help me sketch it out, and then that's all I need. All right. Okay. But Michelle's advantage didn't stop there. Ben, you get to choose how long you help Michelle for. So in here, I have a card that says five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of helping Michelle is a long time for a short challenge. Go, babe. Go, babe. No. Go, babe. No. I need to figure out a good color scheme. <gasps> I just spilled all of the beads. What do you think about this? It looks really good. It looks like a fish. Thanks. It's what I'm making. Okay, restarting. Oh, that's beautiful, Bean. I can finally get back to work. I feel like a big underdog right now. Everyone's being very disrespectful towards me, frankly, and... Uh, that's way too big. Well, probably gonna win. Probably gonna beat him. While some artists were enjoying making art with beads, others were not so much. I am really enjoying working on this. It's very calming <laughs> and relaxing. <gasps> And she thinks she's so cool with her chicken dino. You're so funny. Why the poop would she choose a chicken I'm dino and not, not just a dinosaur? It's very therapeutic, but I absolutely hate this. Oh my gosh, my anemone is so small. Yay. It's hard to do with nails. Turns out, beat art is extremely challenging. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, that's it, I'm cutting this. I switched to glue because I was getting really pissed off at how slow it was going, and I'm a lot happier now. I'm a lot more sane, I'd say. We're closing in on the halfway mark, and things have gotten real quiet. I'm gonna go check in on everyone, see how everyone's doing. Oh, I just stepped on a bee. Zach, I will say I'm feeling as if no one here is really respecting me. Don't let anyone slander your name like that, Ben. Uh, David. Oh. You seem frustrated, Ben. I am very frustrated. There's nothing you can say to me that will motivate me. Leave me be. Oh, that looks cute. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. Jake. I'm getting pissed. What? Why? Because it's so tedious that now I'm just gonna glue. I thought we were all suffering together. I will suffer no longer. Mackenzie, how are you gonna make this chicken looking? You're gonna give it a gobble at least, right? It's not feathers. Uh... Just make sure you follow your topic. Otherwise, Someone's gonna get disqualified. I'm really, really happy with this. However, will I finish? Probably not. <laughs> Take a look. Everyone is working right now. 
A few people are getting frustrated. I'm having a lot of fun. Luckily for them, we have a challenge. Everyone, come with me to the other set. So you guys will do a little bead sorting challenge and you guys will be able to steal another artist to help you. Ooh! Each one of you guys are gonna get one of these. You need to put 40 either green or blue beads in your cup. Are you ready? Yeah. Set, go! First hand I see is the first person I'll check. I don't know how many I have. Yeah, I didn't count. It's gonna happen. You better, you better start counting. Let me see, let me see. Okay, David, let me see. All right, Mackenzie's next if David doesn't have 40. One, two. And then me. Three. There's six, there's seven, 38. 39! <laughs> oh my god! Right David, that's only 39! It's on the floor! 42! Oh, she had 42! Oh, that's not 40! Wait, if it's more than 40... 39? Oh yeah, you have more than 40. Come on, I have exactly 40 Mine's probably. all blue. No, you guys lost already. Alright, good job, Mackenzie. Alright, let's go back over there, I'll let you choose. David had 39 beads. Oh my god! I'm just glad that... I don't have to worry about helping someone else because I really need to be using this time to work on my project. I have a plan. All right, comeback of the century. There's only an hour and 30 minutes left and I'm about to make a huge pivot. Instead of working on this felt thing, I'm gonna work on this whiteboard. And I already have my sketch down, so my plan is just to glue down the beads. All right, close your eyes and pick one. Bro, if I get picked again, I'm not gonna be happy. All right. Who is it? God, you're kidding me. You David. get David's help! <laughs> oh, are you serious? Oh, God. Five minutes, baby. So, I'm actually <laughs> quite parched. If you could go get me a water and label it with a K. There you go. Okay, awesome. That's crazy uh, that you guys you are working run together. Run around the oh, studio. All right, walk around the studio. Zach, come here. This is my new strategy. Well, that looks cool. I think that if I was still doing the challenge like it was designed, I probably would have quit. I hope they acknowledge the neatness of the beats that I'm doing. Ta-da! Wait, is Ellie alive? Well, maybe cheating might be good. Guys, somebody start drama. <sighs> that is getting stuck in my pink hair. Why would you put them down my shirt? So they get stuck. You always take it too far. David, if you make it really cute, you have a legitimate chance of winning. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's cool. I feel like yours has a lot of potential, Michelle. This is going to be the first time I don't finish something. Let me see it real quick. I'm adding this red little bit on the head. Mm. Will that be OK? Yeah. There's 38 minutes left. You want to go play some basketball? My knees are destroyed, so yes. Dude, there's no way I can shoot it. Fast is just moving. I can't believe Ben's playing basketball right now, and there's only 35 minutes left. And what? Oh no, I put one too many beads in this. Uh oh, someone doesn't have a chance. <laughs> I really like how mine's turning out for a freaking chicken dinosaur. I don't have all the colors now. I think I need to start gluing because. I am not done. With time running down, some of the artists besides Ben and Jake also consider gluing their beads down as well. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Jake's does look really good, but I have to give it to David. Whoa, David! That's actually really cute, David. I really hope you win. Thanks, Zach. Wow, Jake, that looks really good. I'm speechless for myself, quite honestly. Three, two, one. Time is up! <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to preface by saying that I got the topic of chicken dino. This is the dinosaur, and then this is the little gizzard. If I had more time, it would have looked a lot better. Yeah, I feel like with the neck, it would look really cool. Yeah, because it also would have had feathers, too. Kind of like look at it from a distance. Like right about there, it looks pretty good. You know what? When you bring it further, it actually does look pretty cool. All right, Jake. Your topic was anemone and clownfish. Yes. Here we have not only an anemone and a clownfish, but also a few bubbles. I'm surprised I'm able to actually see the little arm things. Yeah, the tentacle things. Oh, that, that was like scaring me the most because I didn't want it to get super like uh -huh. busy. It's supposed to be two D. What? It's supposed to be a two dimensional piece, but no big deal. Two D? Is this guy dumb? Oh, okay. I also really like how it looks like the fish is like popping out. And by the way, when Zach said he likes that the fish is popping out, that's not a 2D thing, that is a 3D thing. So I, I know what it is. Okay. So I did a nine tail fox because my topic was creature. This is a very solid piece for me. 
I think it's nice. Dude, Ben, this is what Ben was doing while I was judging pieces and doing, <laughs> I look like a rat. That's because you are. All right, Ben. What do we have here? So I got the topic of colorful birds, so I made a phoenix. If I hit the table, everything just moves. <laughs> okay, but the viewers aren't gonna know that when they see the picture. <laughs> David, what do we have here? All right, well I got the topic of fish, and so I did a clownfish, and I spent a lot of time on the outline of the clownfish. I mean, it's a nice piece. It looks very clean. As you guys know, David is our videographer, and he doesn't normally do art, but I think this is probably your best piece yet. Good job, David. Today, the way we're gonna be judging is I'm gonna ask a few subscribers which one they like the best, and first person to three votes wins. Three! Three! That's not enough! The first vote goes to... Chicken Dino! <laughs> Come on, Chicken Dino! The second vote goes to... The Clownfish by Jake! Yeah! Fight! <laughs> this vote goes to... Ben's Phoenix! Wait, what? Yeah. The next vote goes to... The Clownfish by Jake! Yeah! Oh uh, no, one more vote! It's been so long since I won a challenge! This one goes to... Jake's Clownfish again! This is what happens one out of 20 times that I finish a piece. Artists, today you will each be making a costume for me. Whoever makes the best costume gets to win up to $10,000. What? So I usually have you guys give it to a subscriber, but this time you're splitting it with a subscriber. Oh! But, you guys are making these costumes from scratch. So you have a $500 budget, but you have 24 hours. Yeah, go shop. Get in, losers! We're going go shopping! shopping. Bye. Bye. Bye! We are outside of Joanne's! I'm gonna start by getting some of these boas. Oh, I think I might do something cool with all the fur. Got a large... Oh, there's ladies. Me and Jazz are finished. So we just got back from the stores, and I can't wait to get started. Are you all ready to unlock your styles? Yes! So I'm creating the king of the ocean. I thought I'd go with like anime type style character. What on earth? I did the sketch. What? The shell! Giant private parts. No! You will be a killer country clown riding a horse. Tell me, what are you going to do with black? <clears throat> and pink stuff. I wonder, hear me out, black pink themed wrestler bird. So you've heard of mother nature, uh -huh. but I'm creating father nature. You call it daddy nature. I am making you a psycho disco buddy outfit. You can go over your head like this. Ooh. I'll be introducing you to your subscriber in just a second. Where are you from? Palestine. We are doing a crafts video right now. If we win, we get a chance to win up to $10,000 or more. I'm Jake. What's your name and where are you from? Here. I'm from the Philippines. Do you have any like words of encouragement for me? Just be yourself. I've been watching you. I've been kind of YouTube. Oh. Oh. Hi. So, what's your name and where are you from? Leanne. Philippines. Our names are so So here's what I'm making right now. I'll show you. So it's gonna be nature's uh, beast. No. Thank you. Hi there. What is your name and where you're from? My name is Mujahid. I'm from India. I hope you win. Aw, thank you so much. I'm Michelle. What's your name and where are you from? Here in the Netherlands, we say Anshali. I think you can do it because it's your boyfriend, right? <laughs> Artists, as you know, Knockout City is a game of dodgeball. So, we have a little challenge. Come with me to the front. We're gonna play dodgeball. Get in. No! Artists, listen up. Last person to get hit, win something huge, go! <laughs> Mackenzie, you're out! <laughs> Jake! You're last, come in. My arms are sore. He's complaining. Hey Jake, you like candles, right? Yes! How about a very large candle? Oh, yes! Choose one target, you can bring any other stuff outside and you have 15 seconds to do what you want with that. 
All right, grab what you want, Jake. <gasps> Jake, start up the torch. All right, time starts now. One, two, three, 13, 14, 15. Go for Viv. <laughs> Get him, Viv. Wait, what? Viv. Jake. Jake, put that down. Mmm, those are toasty. Ooh, there's a hole. Sure. Mackenzie has been leading in crash challenges for six months straight. Looks like you're closing in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the feathers and how everything goes back. <laughs> you were torched by Jake. Yes. How are you recovering from that? Team play is essential, so whether you're playing with friends or creating a crew of up to 32 people, you should work together to knock out the opposition. Just like the challenge we're about to do. So everyone, get outside. Whichever team survives the longest will get an advantage. All three of you. Jake, Viv, Mackenzie, you guys are going first. Let's go, yeah. All right, team Jake, Viv, and Mackenzie last in nine seconds. Seconds. Unfortunately, Jake, Viv, Mackenzie, that means all three of you get punished. Each of you can take one thing from anyone else. Where's the hot glue gun? Oh, Mackenzie has a really good hot glue gun. Ooh, and Mackenzie, it looks like you have really good items, so they're all targeting you. <laughs> Zach, why are you so brutal with these? The mouse is yours. I don't even need this mouse. Daisy literally just took it so Mackenzie couldn't use it. Mackenzie, Viv, and Jake, come over here. Are you ready to hear your punishment? Now was it punishment or not? Three laps around the house. Lunges. I am wet and pissed off. Stupid lunges. Final few steps. Viv really doesn't want to do her lunges. <laughs> See, three seconds, all I hear is something along the lines of, ah! <laughs> ah! Ow, my knee! Ah! Ah! I am falling apart. All right, good job, Viv. Oh. Good job. Come look at my bunny mask. I'm adding on the second ear now. I'm almost done making my chest plate. It's looking super sick. So we're gonna do something a little interesting here. What I heard the most is you guys think Izzy's in the lead and Viv's in the lead as well. You two are the team captains. Did I mention we're doing a team dodgeball game? Izzy and Viv, rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to choose first. All right, Viv, choose your first te teammate. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie. She was my second <laughs> You hear that, Mackenzie? You're her second choice. Uh, you choose Jazz? Yes. You have no choice but to take Michelle. Yes. All right, artists, come with me. All right, everyone, rules are simple. So whichever team eliminates every single person on the other team wins. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Jake, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jake. Mackenzie's the only one left on our team. Viv, get her! You have so many balls! Mackenzie, Viv, go get her! All right, Mackenzie is out! Mackenzie, you did well. Unfortunately, they just got you there at the end. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I finally finished my crown. Wrapped it all around the show. I really hope Zach likes it. I also added lights. It's around 10.30 and I finished my mask. Everything's looking really good, so I'm happy. Also extremely tired though. It's early in the morning, working on my costume. Everyone, time is up. Good job, everyone. Artists, I just want to say I'm really proud of all of you. Very good job. This is probably the best work I've seen out of all of you in one of our crafts videos. So with that being said, we're off to the runway. Woo! Artists, 
Welcome to the runway. What you just received was the number from one through six, determining your order for the runway. Who has number one? Me! <laughs> All right, Jazz, let's go to the changing room. There better be a spike in viewership over here. Hey, editor, slow-mo this. All right, everyone, close your eyes. I'm coming around. Knockout City gave us a really fun opportunity to create these costumes. Jake, it's not fitting around my cake. You really just, just pull it up. Just Jake, I'm gonna break it. I'd like to thank my parents, my supporters. A few minutes later. Really close family friends, the Kardashians, Drake, Jay Z. There's countless. Of them. So this is gonna wrap around. Oh. I think everybody did super, super incredible, and I can't wait to see the rest of the costumes. Like a sexy killer clown. I present to you the sexy killer clown riding a horse. Give Zach's performance 8 out of 10. Where, where did the other two points go? So this is supposed to be like an armored kind of plate here. Oh! I like these costumes. I'd like to thank my subscriber, Deja, because she really gave me a boost in confidence going into this competition. Ooh, this has a cool design on it. Oh, good on you. Okay, here's your shirt. All right, here comes the Psycho Disco Bunny hopping out for the first time ever. Oh! 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 I knew it was coming. Oh! Artist, that was our costume show. Woo! Unfortunately, only one person is gonna walk away with the grand prize. We're gonna put the pressure on my subscribers today. I'm gonna put you guys in sudden death rounds against each other until we have two left. And then we'll do a vote from there. There are two stars in here. Whoever chooses the stars will face off and one subscriber will decide which one they like best. All right, everyone, look at your pieces of paper. The first sudden death round is between Mackenzie and Michelle. Your judge is subscriber Maureen Chavez. Between Michelle and Mackenzie, Michelle, you're eliminated. Oh. Sudden death round number two. All right, everyone take a look. You've got to be kidding me again. Oh. Mackenzie versus Jake. Our subscriber's name is Christy. Oh my goodness, they're typing. Wait, I can't look. Oh, I just felt a buzz. Jake, oh. you're out. There are four left. Look at your card. You've got to be kidding me. No. Our judge's name, Ethan Mario. Oh my god, they're driving, they're driving, they're driving! Here you go. Oh! oh! Mackenzie, you made it! Viv, I'm so sorry! This is the semifinals. Take a look. <laughs> Our next judge, Vicky Rodriguez. In the annual semifinals of our costume contest. They are both super cool, but I will go with the second one. Which is Mackenzie! Good job, Jazz! Here's where things get interesting. We will be asking three subscribers. The subscriber we picked to be the judge for this one, her name is Kate. Ooh. The first vote goes to Mackenzie. Our next judge is Sammy RG. Izzy, if you get this vote, you tie things up. Mackenzie, if you get this vote, you get the dub. This vote goes to Ooh. Izzy. Oh. One versus one. We found our final judge, Angela, and the winner, with more than $10,000 on the line, is... Oh. I hate it! Mackenzie! Oh. Mackenzie!
Mackenzie, how many wins have you racked up? Nine? I've racked up nine wins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deja, for believing in me, and I'm gonna win you lots of money, okay? Everyone who lost the challenge, step in. Mackenzie and I are gonna pelt you with dodgeballs for three minutes. Each time you get pelted with a dodgeball, you have 30 burpees. If you catch a dodgeball, that's minus 50. Wait, from both sides? Mackenzie? Wait, what? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> You have 70 burpees, 100 burpees, 130 burpees, 190 burpees, 250 burpees. Are you kidding me? You're just sick. You want me to die? I can't even bend down. You start out with $10,000. Each time I hit you, you lose a thousand. And if you go into negatives, you have to start paying me. What? I'm just kidding. So obviously, I want the subscriber to win as much as possible, but we also have to keep this fair. So I'm just gonna be doing my best to help you, just so you know. Deja, if I'm on fire, I'm really, really sorry. Three, two, one, start. What? Wait, Mackenzie, come over here. I think I only got hit one time. All right, Mackenzie, you got hit seven times. That's 3,000, but we'll round it up to 5,000.